where to begin. Today is what I call a bad day. Uh, I can't get up and walk around without uh, having a lot of problems breathing. Which is really upsetting. Uh, days like this make me feel... Like maybe time is more limited. I try very hard to spend uh, every day living with RSD, not dying from it. So the comorbidities or the problems with the tram flap or uh, my neck phrenic nerve, take your pick. My body has been turned into a train wreck. The very things that saved my life changed my life. It's, it's, uh, it's not easy. Today's April Fool's Day, haha. -ha. And a lot of people around the world, especially around the United States, I should say, are contacting their federal delegations, their state legislators, and basically begging them to care about us. I mean, some people joke around about cannabis as a medication, but you need to understand that for some of us, it's pretty much it. Opioids and narcotics really don't work on my disease. They can numb your mind, but they don't do much to help the disease. Cannabis, where it reacts to the cannabinoids and the way it reacts to the receptors in the body, actually help. Um, and it, it doesn't make you sick like a lot of the medications do. It actually helps the nausea that you get from this. And I get a lot of um, extra problems because my tram flap didn't heal correctly. And it puts pressure on my heart and makes it beat too fast sometimes. So they have me on a beta blocker and an alpha blocker. And my, it pushes on my stomach and causes the acid to come back up. So they have me on medicine for that. And then it pushes on my diaphragm and makes only half of it work and pushes on my left lung. So that makes it harder to breathe. And it can feel like a struggle to breathe. I've done a lot of hard work on my breathing. Uh, key to a trick. Singing is a great way to expand your lung capacity. And then when you have attacks like this, you can keep your levels up. It used to be when I had an attack like this, I couldn't talk to anybody at all. I had no voice. My voice might be a little in and out right now, but at least I can talk. I know I look terrible, but you know what? It's a terrible disease, and sometimes you look terrible, and that's okay. This is a moment, and I'm going to get through it. This thing is not going to be the push me over the cliff. It's not going to. Mm -mm. No, nope. been there, done that, not ever going there again. <laughs> if anything, having this disease, reflex sympathetic dystrophy or complex regional pain syndrome, CRPS, I have what's called type 2 because my phrenic nerve is nicked and I have... Um, neuropathy throughout my entire torso. So that um, adds to the issues that <laughs> that uh, occur. But you know what? I hope that you call your federal delegation and I hope that you call your state senators and your state reps and you share your stories and you tell them what works and what doesn't work and talk to them about the real differences. Talk to them about how people like us need things like tinctures, suppositories, patches, um, capsules, things that take a lot of product to make in order for us to be able to benefit. Where modern medicine stops. We can look back to nature and see what can still be helpful. Until we have real treatments and a real cure or something to treat RSD. 
we have to give patients access to what is available to them. You know, we finally passed a law to the federal government that allows people who are terminally ill the right to try. Well, I think if you have a disease that has no cure and is progressively going to get worse, like RSD, you should have the right to try. And your insurance shouldn't have the right to deny because that's what people like us suffer with. As of right now, I'm a Medicare patient. I pay for a Medicare product. I pay for my health insurance and my um, prescription coverage. I have co-pays and like anybody else. But my infusion therapy costs $450 a month. Not one dime is covered. Of course, not one dime of cannabis is covered. And the medications that they tried to offer me are things like Flexeril, Soma, uh, Oxy. And you know what? I am not taking any of these drugs. They change me as a human being. They make me very dark and awful inside and out. It's got to be some of the worst times of my life that I can remember. And I don't ever want to go back there. So I should have the right to try, and I should have the right to access. So even if it's not affecting you, or someone that you love and know, if you can take 30 seconds out of your day and call your representative today, you have the power to make a difference for people like me, and thousands of others just like me, who are hoping for treatments and cures, but need access to what is available now, to at least make our lives manageable and livable. Let's get rid of the attachment of calling RSD the suicide disease by decreasing suicides and increasing access to medication. Thank you.